Gato. Dear friends, good morning. I am now in the Emenonu area of Istanbul, and today I will visit what I believe are the two main attractions of this neighborhood. The first one is the Spice Bazaar, known here as the Egyptian Market. The second one is the new mosque, which really overlooks this whole area. I will start with Spice Bazaar, which is considered as part of the new mosque complex. The rent paid by the store owners is used for the maintenance of the mosque. Ottoman mosques are usually part of a greater complex, which can include a bazaar, a bathhouse, an Islamic school, and a hospice for the poor. There are stalls selling corn and chestnuts all over Istanbul. If I must be completely honest, I don't like the corn they sell here. It's way too dry. Here we have the Egyptian bazaar in all its beauty. Unlike the Grand Bazaar, the Egyptian market focuses of food products. Not only spices are sold here, but also nuts, dried fruits, teas, herbs, infusions, and above all, a great variety of Middle Eastern sweets, which are among the best in the world. You do not find meats and vegetables here, though. Souvenirs and utensils like coffee and teapots can be found also there is a total of 85 shops. I shoot the video, okay. and then maybe later I come. Okay. Maybe you come back. This is manager Tatar, hmm? red cloth, half. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Eh? Yes, yes, yes. Wow. It is called the Egyptian market because it was built with the revenues extracted from Egypt, which at that time was under Ottoman domination. Its construction was commissioned in 1660 by the queen mother of Sultan Mehmet IV, Sultana Turhan Hatice. In 1660, a great fire destroyed two-thirds of Constantinople, and the Spice Bazaar fell within the reconstruction effort started in the city after that disaster. What you see here is lokum, also known as Turkish delight. It is definitely one of my favorites. It's a cube-shaped gelatinous treat made essentially of starch and sugar flavored in many different ways. The more expensive ones usually contain some type of nut. What you see here are various types of infusions. The store owners are more than willing to explain to you what illness each one of those cure or for what part of the body they are beneficial. Here they sell entire sets for serving tea. Here instead are the traditional copper pots used to brew Turkish coffee. Thank you. 
I will come later, eh? I will come later, eh? No. Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? Merhaba. Very nice, beautiful, huh? Wow. Yeah. I'm just uh, later I come because now I am shooting. Here they sell various types of baklavas, which is a layered pastry made with phyllo dough, filled with nuts and soaked with a sugary syrup. Baklava is popular throughout the whole Middle East, not only Turkey. I'm from Milan, but I live in Kenya actually. If you want to see inside, can I give it to Can I give a cold water? Later, now I have to do this, but later I come. I'm staying in Istanbul for one month, so I'm going to have plenty of time. No problem, whatever you want. I do for your travel pack, you can keep it fresh when it's long time. Yeah, but at the end of July. Yeah. Thank you. Fine, I'm fine. Thank you, I'll try, but I will come later for... Uh... Okay, thank you very much. Italy. Italia, buongiorno. Buongiorno. Some unique paint, handicraft. Yes, but later.
Welcome, sir. Thank you. Where are you from? From Italy. Italy, mamma mia, molto bene. Buongiorno. Uh, uh, later, because now I'm shooting video, but later I come. I stay here a month. I've got all the time. The man in the portrait above is Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, the founding father of the modern Turkish state, serving as its first president from 1923 until his death in 1938. He is a deeply revered historical figure, and his face is on all the Turkish lira banknotes. Dear friends, it is time now to move to the next attraction, which is the new mosque. Located at the southern end of the Galata Bridge, the new mosque overlooks the Golden Horn. It was the last of the great mosques built by Ottoman sultans, and while its foundations were laid in 1597, it was completed only 66 years later. In August of 1597, a ceremony was held to lay the foundation. Soon they faced a major problem, though. Water poured out wherever they dug. They built mills to pump out the water, and when water dried out, they began the construction. The stones used for its construction was brought from Rhodes. The construction of the mosque came to an abrupt stop when Sultan Mehmet III passed away, and his Venetian mother, Safiya Sultan, who commissioned the mosque, according to the tradition, was relegated to the old palace. 57 years had to pass before the construction was resumed. In 1660, Hatice Turban Sultan, the mother of Sultan Mehmet IV, seeing the unfinished mosque during a tour around the city, decided to complete the mosque. A great fire had destroyed two-thirds of Constantinople shortly before, and the new mosque was part of the reconstruction effort. Three years later, the new mosque was opened to the worshippers. The exterior of the mosque has 66 domes and semi-domes as well as two minarets. The interior of the mosque is square-shaped. Each side is 41 meters long. Four large pillars define the central area and support the dome. The diameter of the dome is 17.5 meters. On the four corners where the dome intersect the main columns are calligraphic plates with the names of the first four caliphs, Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman, and Ali. The tiles that decorate the mosque are from the Anatolian town of Iznik, and the blue, green, and white colors were chosen.
This is the area reserved for the ritual washing performed by Muslims before prayer. I think it's all for today. The video ends here, and I hope you've enjoyed. Goodbye, and see you next time. Cheers.